All right, so Jeff shared gold today in the Law of Attraction. Well, LOA by Neville Goddard Group, the real home of manifesting mastery. <laughs> this is really good. He says, uh, it only works when it is not work. God, I could not have said that better myself. It only works when it is not work. <laughs> and he asked the question, why did my Joseph Goddard suck? You know that whole Joseph Goddard thing we've got. 5 to 10, 6 to 12, specific events of your day having gone your way, right? He says, I was making it a to-do list. It was not fun. You see, I love shopping when I just go shopping. Of course, there's a few items on the get me list. Get me some dog chicken, right? Get me some of them there, uh, curry packs. I love curries, right? But, you know, for me, most of the fun in shopping is discovering what else, what more. And Neville Goddard says your desires are divine in origin. And he says the moment you feel a desire, that's when you move into its assumption. He doesn't say show up with a shopping list and cover every detail to make sure you get exactly everything exactly right. That'll drive you nuts. <laughs> and I congratulate Jeff for discovering where he was bumbling up himself because you can bumble up yourself. You can, you, it's just, it's so easy to make this work because we live in a work oriented society. Think about this, right? You get on the plane, you sit down next to a stranger. If the conversation happens, when the f conversation happens, usually after the movie's halfway over. So what do you do? By the way, people don't give a shit what you do for work. What they really hunger for is to know how you serve, what you give, what's your contribution. Are you alive? Do you let the dance of you be danced? Are you singing your song? People are desperate to find people who are singing their own song, painting their own picture. They really are. But we settle for asking, what do you do? It's a safe question and 90% of the time it's answered by something like, well, I uh, make my money online, I, I used to do eBay. <laughs> Boring. In other words, work. In other words, if I keep showing up, they'll give me a paycheck someday. Not a fan of that. I'm a massive fan of 5 to 10, 6 to 12. Specific events of my day having gone my way. I'm a massive fan of Joseph Goddard. That's Neville's father, who... Uh, every day after breakfast, he would sit in his Burbese chair. And he would imagine specific events, the meetings of his day, the events of his day ahead, already having gone his way. And I decided, see, I noticed something after playing with that for a little bit, because I manifested up a Babrice chair. It's pretty cool. I share the photos of it online for once in a while. But uh, I noticed every day I'm waking up imagining something about the day ahead on autopilot. I'm not a fan of autopilot. I'm a fan of the variety pack. I'm not a fan of going shopping with shopping lists. I'm not a fan of going shopping on autopilot. I'm a fan of making friends and influencing people. I'm a fan of inviting you to the dance of you. I'm a fan of nailing specific wins each day, specific events of my day, specifically having gone my way. I know some folks are a fan of just having a good day. Good day to you. <laughs> Here's the thing. You can imagine going to bed accomplished and satisfied. I love those two. But here's the thing. Accomplished and satisfied, it, it really, it's, it's like there's a pizza. It's the act of like picking it up and chewing it and swallowing it and experiencing it and tasting it and smelling it and feeling it specifics specific events of my day this podcast today's show yesterday i had an awesome call with jumping joe weldon i i mention that because i imagine specific events of my day having gone my way 
the new remarkable teams assembling the uh, you guys that have got the private call packs as well uh, you know before every call I imagine you having had gotten gold me having had a great time having gotten gold too I imagine the end of the call before the call begins I imagine telling Victoria what a great call it was and having fabulous insights that grow into other things and that's what's really cool because whenever you start living like this you start really living it's not like I had a good day see here's the problem I have with things like having a good day that's contrasting it with having a bad day or having an okay day because you can have a good day you can have a bad day you can have an okay day I'd rather you have specific specific wins Do you get where my fire comes from? It comes from specific wins every day. Events on my calendar. <laughs> the pool, the podcast, the puppy walk. Playing with Victoria. Victoria's yum. And I know, you know I, I always get the thing, but those are all small things. When a big desire shows up, it shows up. I've talked about Jimmy's feet. There's a lot of things I don't talk about, though. Especially client wins. Because here's the deal, guys. Neville Goddard says you came here for a divine purpose. And that purpose is to know imagination. While you're here, though, why not sing your song? Why not dance your dance? Here's what I notice. Everybody wants to be somebody. And I want you to be who you choose to be every day, not someday. I don't. I want you to be who you choose to be, not because of the big win that made it all possible. See, you make it possible, and the big wins follow. If you got gold today, I've got two suggestions. One, the procrastination pack. That is going like wildfire. I was telling Joe yesterday. I, yeah, I've done a lot of product releases. And I've never had one take off like this. This tells me I'm on to something. The flip side of this one is the surrender pack. Right? You have procrastination and surrender. They go hand in hand. Procrastination has you surrendered to dumb shit. So if, if you find yourself surrendering to dumb shit every day, the procrastination pack is for you. On the other hand, the other hand, the other side of the same coin is I struggle to surrender to what I choose. There are keys in the there are keys to that in both the surrender pack and the procrastination pack. You'll notice when we do shit, we don't do the same shit in different packs. We do different shit in different packs because when when you go out and you get food, like Victoria, we go out and we order a couple foods. The foods that we order are all different and they complement each other. It's called a banquet. It's called a feast. And that's what you came here for. Remember the prodigal son? God, we did a great call on that. But the prodigal son, they they had they had, they killed the fatted calf and they had a feast. It doesn't say they sat around and just ate meat or just ate salad. They had a feast. They feasted on the fatted calf. They feasted. I wonder if that's a word. What if every day was a feast for you instead of a feat to accomplish? Anyway, the procrastination pack and the surrender pack both are available at Neville Goddard Store. Dot com. Ah, my name is Mr. 2020. You've been listening to the voice of Mr. 2020, obviously. Coming to you live from Melbourne, Australia. Have a lovely day. Oh, we've got a good show coming up today. Guess what? I imagine that, having had rocked it too. <laughs> See ya.